I'll be analyzing a real A-level H2 chemistry media exam paper which would not have been possible if not for the sponsor of today's video, my own student, whom I shall not name for obvious reasons. So a huge thank you to my student for allowing me to put his work out there for everyone to learn from. Now, there are only two reasons why your teacher penalized you. You either have for number one, a content problem, or number two, a delivery problem. Notice how I did not say having an understanding problem, so pay extra close attention to what I'm about to say next because they are going to be really important for later. You may think that your problem lies more in the delivery of your answers, whereby you are not being specific enough because you've missed out a certain keyword. But allow me to challenge this notion of yours today. The reason why you missed out on certain keywords is because your content is weak. Let me say that again. A highly likely reason why your answer was penalized is because your content is still not strong enough. Here's an easy test to see if you have truly mastered your content for a certain concept. Pick any concept, such as free radical substitution. If you can, number one, confidently explain it with conceptual detail to anyone or to yourself right now, and number two, visualize your answer in your mind, then your content is strong. But if you have to spend time thinking for a while and you're not able to visualize what you're trying to say, then your mastery of the content for this concept is not there yet. In other words, understanding the concept is not enough and it certainly does not equal to you having a strong mastery of your content. Whereas for a delivery problem, it's more about your answering skills such as making use of the data in the question and how your answer is structured to answer the demands of the question. Alright, let's get to the real deal now. I'll only be going through paper 2 which is the written section and not the paper 1 MCQ section. What I'll first do is go to Google Docs and create a 4 column table labeled question, marks, topic and subtopic. You can also do this in landscape mode under page orientation which is my personal preference. Then, I'll transfer all the information from the marks column of my exam paper into this table. By the way, feel free to use whatever medium you want, like if you prefer writing it down on a piece of paper or using Excel. I use Google Docs because it's the most visually comfortable for me. If not, you can also check out the template which I've left in the description below but do that only after you watch the entire video. Next, I'll label the questions with the topics that are tested. So I'll flip through the paper and carefully identify them. So question 1 is on atomic structure, question 2 is on stoichiometry and chemical bonding, question 3 is on oxidation states, and so on. The purpose of doing this is so that at a glance, you can already see which topics you're weaker in, which in this case are chemical bonding, atomic structure, and chemical energetics. This way, you would know which topics you should prioritize after this. Now, I want to find out what exactly is the problem in the individual questions, whether is it a content problem or a delivery problem. For question 1A part 1, let's see, I got 0 out of 2, 2 carrots indicating I missed out something. So what do you think is the problem here, content or delivery? I will categorize this as a content problem because number one, it's not specific enough, as shown by the lack of conceptual keywords such as what kind of electrons nuclear attraction between what and what, and again this one, which electron is this talking about? Number two, I simply cannot visualize this answer. With that, I'll now go into my Google Docs and key in the subtopic along with the question, and label C to indicate that I have a content problem with explaining successive ionization energies. Next one, is this a C or a D problem? I will categorize this as both a C and a D problem. Even though I could figure out that the answer is, I disagree with the conclusion, but as you can see from the answer, I was not able to bring up the concept with the visual details, aka the conceptual keywords which are basically the bolded words in my lecture notes. And furthermore, the delivery of the answer is not well crafted as I could have made use of the data from the table in the question and weave it into my answer. So back to the Google Docs, I will type identifying elements based on successive energies table and give it a C plus D. Next, A part 3. The concept here is totally wrong, so that will make it a C problem in the area of first ionization energy across a period because it's said to its right in the periodic table in the question. Alright, moving on. B part 1 is correct, so we shall leave that alone. B part 2. Is this a C or a D problem? 
This is a C problem because each 3p orbital contains only 2 electrons and not 6 electrons. So there's a misconception problem here. So you can either just type orbitals or if you want to be more specific, you can type the difference between s and p orbitals. Next, this is also clearly a content problem as I did not draw the orbital correctly. So I will categorize this as drawing of orbitals. So as you can see, not only will you be able to know the subtopics that you are weaker in, but also in this case, the fact that it is the weak content that is causing all the damage. Now, let's see if you can identify whether the remaining questions have a C or D problem, both or neither. Wow, that was totally therapeutic. Now, let's look at our self-generated analysis report and you can see for yourself the ratio of C's to D's. Here's how I will interpret it. According to the marks allocated for each question, I am evidently weaker in the atomic structure, chemical bonding and chemical energetics chapters. The reason being mostly me having a content problem for the identified subtopics above. With this, what you should do next should hopefully be much clearer to you. If you have identified that you have more of a content problem, please revisit your lecture notes and the answer key, not only to digest the concepts but also make sure you download the bolded keywords into your brain as this is the standard way of how you should explain a certain concept. If you have more of a delivery problem, do practice more of the same type of questions so that you'll be familiar with the structuring of your answers. I hope your problem has been solved in this video. This is Grapefruit Academy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.